Hey guys, I haven't made an update about the car in quite some time. So here it is right now. I'm currently working on fitting the rest of the front end components back on it, getting everything lined up properly so it actually has even gaps and looks a lot less like trash. So I just picked up these fenders. They're a little bit rough. They have some dents in them, but nothing a little bit of massaging. Couldn't fix to get the doors to clear and everything. Then I painted them up, I paid 200 bucks for them, and they're actually OEM metal. So still, all in all, a really good deal. And then this one doesn't really have too many issues. However, there is a tear in the fender right there. But it's nice and sturdy, so I don't think I'll have any issues with it until I get it all welded up. Uh, the car will be going for paint at some point in the nearest future. So in addition to the outside, I did gut the interior of the car. Um, I did this for a couple of reasons, mainly to clean it up and make it look a lot nicer. So it's not going to be gutted for long. There will be a whole new interior. Also, you can see down there, I added new heat barrier and sound deadening material. So hopefully that will keep the car a little bit cooler on the inside. I'm in the process of adding that all in. I still need to do uh, the back seat and everything down there. After that, I will be painting the interior of the trunk, getting that all situated, doing a new battery mount, and kind of getting the car more where I want it. In addition, I have a lot of plans for under the hood as well. So as you guys probably know from my channel, I have a 1UZ. So it has gone through quite a few events and this is actually the original motor I had. I pulled it out because I thought I had messed it up, but there's a bunch of other things I had went wrong. So it's back in the car and I am going full standalone on it. I had a lot of wiring issues all of a sudden where my really nice fan controllers and whatnot all suddenly melted down. And the car went through quite a few iterations of being kind of cobbled back together in order to run for events. So. Now it is time for a full-on teardown. I will be going with the Audi R8 coil packs, uh, coil and plug setup, with a micro squirt controller. Not to be confused with the mega squirt, I'm going with the smaller micro squirt. I'll be doing a video on how to assemble that all together for 1UZ. It'll be my first time doing it, so it should be a learning process for all of us. I will be using a 2J trigger wheel on the crank I'm omitting the cam sensors and I'm going to be running batch fire uh, wasted spark with four ignition outputs. But here's kind of how the car sits today. It has Koyo N-Flow in it, um, Spall fans, 1640 CFM each, I believe. They're um, over twice as thick as the radiator. And right now it's just a kind of stock 1UZ with the wiring loom all torn apart and just kind of cobbled back together. Um, everything's gutted at the moment, but I'll be putting my sound system all back in there, making it nice and neat. It runs S15 steering wheel, S15 seats. When I put the interior back in, I'll have my S15 visors put in and uh, S15 rear seats. I have all new carpeting for the car and a bunch of other really nice goodies. Visually, for the outside, I need to pick up some rear valances still, and I need to pick up some side skirts. I did find the JDM rear bumper. Uh, I actually got that brand new from Nissan in a box, so it's very nice. Then I have the JDM front bumper. I have the corner lights coming, or the, the turn signal lights coming in a couple days, so I'll have those. Then I want to do some sort of fog light setup on it as well, just because uh, these eBay Koki headlights are kind of junk. And uh, I really don't want to spend the money on the glass ones at the moment. So until then, I'll probably just run some sort of fog light setup and just get a lot more light onto the ground. But it has the, the VIS carbon fiber hood on it. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Um, running just a welded diff in it because I broke the cause a few events back. So some of you may know I snapped off 13 teeth on the ring gear. 
and I am just kind of waiting to get that all reassembled and put that back in there. But that's it for the update on the 1UZ. Feel free to leave any comments below if you have any questions about the car. I'm fairly active, so I'll answer anything that you want. Also, I am on Instagram with um, Jolting S14, same as kind of like the channel set up on here. So feel free to give a follow and keep up to date on the car build. Have a good one, guys.